now let's record this information in the books of account just to show how will it affect the accounting records. Remember, we are going to enter this entry in the accounting records of the correspondent. Like I said, previously, we recorded in the instructing item using the same information. So the first thing that we are going to look at, we're going to look at the 3,300 that was collected from the judgment data in the new filter. Remember, our client is Malobi here. But at the moment, the business is between the correspondent and the extracting item. So we need to account this 3.3 like we are accounting for our client. So obviously, this will affect Trust Bank. In other words, in the Trust Bank, we need to go and record the amount that we collected. And remember, this amount belongs to our client. And our client, in this case, is Sylvester's item, the instructing item. So we need to go to the bank account, which is the trust bank account, or the trust cash account. Okay, so on the debit side, because this money belongs to the client, so we're just going to come here and record that amount of how much? The amount of uh, 3,300. Can you see now? Just easy like that. So rules are still rules. Can you see now? So that's how we said Sylvester's attorney trust, meaning Sylvester's attorney is our client. So we have to put client's money in the trust bank account or trust cash book. So at the same time, we need to go to Sylvester's attorney to show that this amount belongs to them. So what we are going to do, we are going to go to the Sylvester's attorney on the opposite side and we have to record what? This 3.3. Remember, from the debit here, we go here to the credit here. We just come here and record how much. We record 3,300. But this 3,300 comes from what? It comes from the trust bank account. So this is the first thing that we need to do when we receive, when we collect the money on behalf of Sylvester's item. Can you see now? It's the same procedure that we use when we are dealing with clients, our real clients. But remember here, because of the correspondence nature of these uh, transactions, we have to take Sylvester's item as the client. I hope that it makes sense. So this is how to account uh, for the amount collected. Okay, so in the next part, we'll show the next transactions. Thank you very much.